Hola, como estas? Hi, James here from the ShareLingo Project. Uh, this uh, little video is to help you decide if ShareLingo is something you need or something you don't need. Who needs ShareLingo or who does not? All right, so let me bounce through these real quick and you can decide if this is right for you or if it's not right for you. The first thing is that um, you're someone who wants to speak Spanish, okay? Uh, some people want to learn Japanese, right? If you want to learn Japanese, this is probably the, not the right place for you. Even though the method that uh, the ShareLingo method is appropriate for any two languages, uh, we don't have the materials and we don't have the team that all speak Japanese. But I do have uh, friends in the industry who can help you with Japanese. But if you want to learn Spanish, this is good. If you don't want to learn Spanish, probably not for you. All right. Number two, you are doing or have done something to learn Spanish. So that might be in high school you learn Spanish or you've done Duolingo or you're doing Duolingo every day. Uh, Rosetta Stone, college, you're in university classes. Whatever it is, you're doing or you have done something. ShareLingo is probably not for the people who have never, ever, ever done anything. That's prop this is probably not your place. But again, I know people in the industry that can help you with that jump start to, you know, fast, you know, get, get the base fast, all right? We do have courses for beginners, but they are geared for people who are beginning to speak or beginning to get off the ground and uh, go through that. But if you've never done the alphabet, you don't know uno, dos, tres, then again, ShareLingo is probably not for you. All right. Um, number three <clears throat> is the something that you've done or that you're doing, something isn't working. All right. You're not sure what it is, but when you try to speak, you can't. All right. And so if if you know people that you can speak with and speaking is easy, then ShareLingo is probably not for you, all right? But if when you try to speak, you kind of balk and you stop and you doubt yourself, then ShareLingo, let's keep going, all right? Number four, that you need confidence. Now, if you're one of these people that can just have a couple shots of tequila and just start speaking Spanish, that's fine. Okay, go out. Maybe ShareLingo is not for you. You have the confidence in whatever form it comes in uh, to just go out and speak. But if you find that when you start trying to speak to native Spanish speakers, um, it's a little bit difficult, then again, ShareLingo is probably for you, but let's keep going and find out. Number five, you know that the confidence that you need comes from practice, all right? Imagine if you're about to go out on stage and deliver a TED Talk. You're going to practice that TED Talk before you go out on stage. Or if you're about to go out and have a round of golf, a lot, a lot of people are gonna to go to the driving range and practice before they go actually play golf. Now, if you understand that practice leads to confidence, Sharing goes for you. If you don't get that, uh, if you don't think that you need practice speaking Spanish, then probably this is not the right place to be. All right, and then number six, all right? You know you want practice, but you're struggling with who to practice with, what to practice, or how to practice, or all three, all right? If you already know that uh, your neighbor speaks Spanish, and you know what you like to do and when you like to do it and how you like to do it uh, to practice with your neighbor speaking Spanish, ShareLingo is not for you. But if you have questions about who, meaning where can you find Spanish speakers to practice with, what materials should you practice with at each individual level, or how to make this practice time easy and fair so that you're both um, improving as you practice together, then sharing was probably for you. All right, so there you go. Um, one through six, 
Uh, at any point in here, you can decide if Sherlingo is the right place to be, or maybe it's not. But uh, if you need help, we are here to help you. Yo soy James, fundador del Proyecto Sherlingo, y nos vemos pronto. I'm James from the Sherlingo Project. Uh, we'll see you soon.